Welcome to the Insider's Look at Security and Compliance podcast, brought to you by Agile. I'm Evan Schumann. Enterprises today face a frighteningly changed environment for security and compliance. This is mostly because there is extensive change happening in every element. Change for the company's technology as the shift to the cloud and mobile accelerates. But on-premises and legacy systems haven't yet disappeared. There are changes for the attack landscape, with better finance cyber thieves using their own versions of machine learning to launch far more powerful attacks. And compliance is changing, with new rules such as GDPR and the California Consumer Privacy Act being added, but no rules ending. Companies are trying to combat these changes with process changes, but few can keep up. Don Elledge, the CEO and founder of Agile, anticipated many of these changes years ago, and it explains why he structured the company as he did. The goal was to go far beyond his security background and work with companies to deal with the changing environment by refocusing on what they should have focused on, their core business objectives. Agile appears to attack these matters in a a fairly sharp, differentiated way. How would you characterize that difference? What is the Agile difference? Well, I think first and foremost, we really look at it as a business problem. You know, if you look at this, what's driving the digital transformation, uh, it is the business. It's the desire to interact with your customers more effectively uh, through digital channels. It's uh, improving your supply chains. It's improving how you're partnering with other organizations. It's a transition in your workforce from having a purely internal workforce to actually outsourcing uh, capabilities and processes and using technology to enable that. And, you know, it's about capturing strategic advantage through technology in the marketplace. All of these things is, are driving the digital change as well as a desire for cost saving, a desire to go to market more quickly. Because of that, we really look at security from a business lens. And so, you know, it's one thing to say we're going to protect the new environment. It's another thing to say that we are going to enable your business through providing a level of security and comfort by leveraging these new technologies that you're going to feel both enabled and capable of actually taking advantage of the digital space. So putting a very strong business lens, aligning the business with security, you're truly addressing the problems the organization needs to address for the business, but also provides much closer alignment uh, between what you're doing around security and the strategic objectives of the business, which allows probably a more constructive discussion around how you fund it with the business side uh, of the organization. How does compliance factor into that? I think compliance is kind of a very important uh, set of of issues organizations are addressing. Uh, If you really look at the increased level of compliance that's being placed on organization. So compliance is another factor security professionals are dealing with. And now, again, we're dealing with compliance not only in the enterprise but also in the cloud. We're also being held accountable for not only what we do in the enterprise but what our partners and and business partners and, and technology partners are doing in their environments. If you look at kind of the traditional environment, you controlled everything. You know, you own the systems, you own the the servers, you own the applications. Now you don't own everything. You're outsourcing it. Third parties might host your environments. Third parties might provide you critical business services. You might be sharing information, significant and sensitive information with third parties. So really this has, adds another level of complexity uh, as organizations kind of, kind of execute down this kind of digital model. And again, it kind of addresses the idea of how do we fund and how do we address these issues as we move down the path of kind of the digital space. So again, I think it comes back to you know, getting the level of funding to both protect your organization and meet your compliance requirements. I don't always draw, you view those as two separate objectives. I kind of view them as a as an overall objective for the organization. How do I meet my security and compliance re- requirements both in the enterprise and the cloud? It's a challenge for organizations, and again, it's another burden placed on CISOs, and how they address it can be challenging, and it does require investment, and it requires 
organizations to step in front of the problems and step in front of this digital transformation instead of kind of being behind that process uh, and, and addressing it after the fact. One of the other compliance struggles that we're seeing a lot of U.S. companies deal with is the close cousin to security, privacy. And a lot of the privacy regulations, which are very different from security regs, and a lot of U.S. companies have gotten so dependent on data to run their operations that the idea that you cannot collect or maintain data without certain privacy concerns runs counter to a lot of what they're doing. How does that play into all of this? Yeah, so I think the new privacy regulations are significant, right, in that it goes beyond just kind of protecting the data within your environment. It actually goes to being able to know where that data is for any particular person and user and how that data is managed and being able to, you know, in many cases, delete it at the user's request and and actions like that. So it actually is a much bigger burden than some of the earlier privacy laws and I, and also the repercussions for for not meeting those compliance levels are much greater. So privacy, you know, has always been a key part of security. I, I don't think that's new. What's really new about privacy and these new regulations is that it's not only being able to protect the data, it's actually being able to act upon the data at a request from a user in a limited time period, which is a a, a totally new set of expectations on organizations. And I think there is a big challenge there in in being able to meet that. A lot of these new regulations haven't been uh, proved out. You haven't seen a lot of lawsuits or regulatory agencies come down on organizations yet. You know, when they do, I think it's going to open up a lot of eyes to, uh, you know, the eyes of a lot of organizations to really the challenges it's going to take to really meet these regulations in, in in an effective way. What about the most fundamental challenge on compliance issues, which is simply keeping up with all of the new rules from state, federal, other countries, industry level, tracking all of those to make sure that you at least have a shot of being compliant to to know what's being changed. How difficult is that? Well, you know, it's very difficult, and we do this for a number of organizations. So we maintain and track over 350 regulations, and we do it in a kind of a relational way so that you, know, you can easily pick and choose which regulations that apply to you and be able to understand all the changes uh, that are taking place in those regulations. And as new regulations are you know, created, uh, we actually take those regulations and incorporate into our overall framework. That framework is also, you know, we also have aligned that framework to very tech, various kind of technology infrastructure. So not only do we know which regulations you have to meet, we can actually go in on the technical side of those regulations, go in and, and explain to you how you address those regulations in specific environments like, you know, the Microsoft Azure environment. These are the kind of configurations and maintenance and, and control points you have to put in place in that environment to meet, you know, you know, the set of regulations that you're being held to. One of the other issues that we've heard a lot of concerns about has been the wonderful juggling act of uh, identity, GRC, and cloud security together. Any thoughts on how you deal with that intersection? Compliance is, is not always aligned with security. You have compliance requirements that you have to meet. And those requirements require you to do certain things within your environment and not only do them, prove that you've done them and be able to make them demonstrable. And and at the same time where you're making changes and involving your compliance requirement, it requires you to monitor how those uh, changes to your environment are taking place. So, you know, to a large degree, compliance is also about good management of security. It's about having effective risk management within your enterprise. And so clearly I think compliance, if you have a strong compliance program, it also helps you around security. I think around identity, identity is becoming a much bigger play in your overall security model. 
The reason for that is because your traditional primary perimeter has actually kind of been weakened a lot. As you take more and more assets outside of your organization, as you penetrate, as you as as information flows across your boundaries more easily, perimeter or your kind of traditional perimeter perimeter has been significantly weakened. And identity actually provides you a another level or a, a, a new perimeter. It's a kind of much more dynamic perimeter to your environment that can extend outside of your and beyond your traditional environment. And so identity is actually playing a very significant role, especially in kind of the cloud environment or the digital environment where identity identity is your major control point. You know, if you look at compliance, a lot of what compliance is is who has access to what and why. Identity plays a very important role in that model as well as being able to demonstrate that you kind of maintain that in an effective uh, in an effective way. Access governance is tightly aligned with identity and access governance allows you to certify who has access to what and making sure that it's appropriate and making sure that it's an accurate. That's a major input into compliance. So all these you know, areas are tightly related, and we view this as kind of a tightly related model. So when we look at identity and do an identity project, we actually look at all of your compliance requirements and make sure your identity is meeting those compliance requirements, as well as look at access governance and make sure that you're capable of showing and proving that, you know, access and, uh, to these environments are appropriate. And then lastly, we always look at your overall governance environments, your risk management environment, and making sure that that capability is strong in your organization so that not only you can implement strong security controls and protect your data and meet your compliance requirements, you can prove to the regulators that you are acting appropriately and taking actions to address issues as they come up and and you understand where your risk footprint is. So we view this as an overall a problem set, and whenever we go in to address one, we always look at the other ones and make sure that, that things are aligned across uh, those three uh, environments. What are the biggest obstacles confronting CISOs today? Well, I think the largest obstacle for CISOs is really having to maintain two security environments, the digital or the you know, cloud environment is secured in a much different way and has different characteristics in your traditional enterprise environment. And this creates an, a, a decision point or kind of a conflict with the CISOs is how do I fund this? How do I invest in the new as well as kind of maintain the old? And a lot of times CISOs are operating under the same budgets they did before this kind of digital transformation uh, were in full swing. And so either you have to kind of make do with what you have or you have to kind of figure out how to get additional funding to really kind of fund this transition. At the same time, you have to continue to maintain and evolve your security in your traditional environment. But isn't it a a lot more than simply budget constraints, which is always going to be a CISO issue? Isn't it a lot of that the very nature of the cloud environment is not just an extension of on-premises, but it's very, very different. For example, uh, visibility. They're not aware of every little minute change that cloud managers may make, and yet it could still impact compliance as well as security. Is that some of the factors? Well, I, you know, I, I agree with that. You know, I think it's the, you know, the same problem you had in the enterprise you're dealing with a new environment, an environment where you might not have all the skills in place or all the processes in place to manage it as effectively uh, as you could, and you haven't gone through the learnings that you have in the enterprise. So, again, it comes back to the cloud isn't less secure than the enterprise. In fact, I think if you look at the data, it, most of the breaches that are taking place is still in your traditional environment. The real challenge is how do I get the skills, knowledge, and make the investments in the cloud so that you can maintain a security level that's comparable or even better than you have in the enterprise. I think that requires a learning uh, or a set of learnings on the enterprise. 
uh, for the enterprise. And I think it's going to take time to kind of get there for a lot of companies or else they're going to have to bring in people who have that skill and knowledge. But fundamentally, I think it comes back to how we secure the enterprise or the traditional enterprise environment is different in the cloud than how we're securing the cloud. That creates a lot of gaps in organizations' kind of current knowledge base. And so how do you fill that gap in knowledge? How do you kind of get the experience and how do you build out the processes for the cloud that you have done kind of in the enterprise? If you really think about it, you've had years and years and years to kind of develop this in the enterprise. The cloud, the uh, evolution to, you know, the digital or the cloud is really happening at a much quicker pace than happened in your traditional enterprise. For the Insider's Look at Security and Compliance, brought to you by Agile, I'm Evan Schumann. Have a secure and compliant week. 